Hello, I'd just like to introduce myself. I'm Victor, and I'm a survivor of the autism community. You might think that that's a really weird way to start a video. What's there to survive? Oh, they're not that bad, right? It's not like you're part of a bunch of narcissists or clansmen. Oh, boy. You haven't interacted with them, have you? Because let me tell you, as someone who's been fooled into going into leaning into this community time and time again, I can tell you from experience that the vast majority of them fit the trope, people with autism have no empathy. It really is amazing how bad they are at empathizing. Like, I have gone to so many Discord groups of, and f fan fiction sites, offline, or like WhatsApp groups, whatever, of people who are disabled or on the spectrum and tried to lean into them and get some amount of support, just get someone to listen to me when I was struggling. And you would think that wouldn't be an issue, right? Because a lot of the issues that I've dealt with are things they probably dealt with. So they should be able to understand more than anyone, right? No. Every single time I have not felt heard, I felt ignored, I felt invalidated. And it's just it's the same crap every single time. Because this is how, usually how it goes. I post, I get ignored. I post again, I get ignored. I post again, I get ignored. Meanwhile, everyone else is getting all these comments, all these replies, left and right. And eventually I get mad and I say, well, what the heck? How come they're getting that? I want that. It's not fair that I, they're getting it and I'm not. Give it to me, damn it. I've been trying for so many times just to get people to acknowledge my existence. I deserve to be heard. I deserve to be listened to. And then they always, every single time without fail, pull the exact same excuse. People are busy. Not everyone can reply all the time. Wah, wah, wah. Just all these BS excuses that I can prove are just not legitimate. First of all, if they're so busy, so busy, how come they reply to other people on the server? In the same thread oftentimes, no less. Clearly, they're not that busy. And what about the thing of not everyone can reply i have a i don't want everyone to reply i want someone to reply and even that's too much for you people so but when i point it out and say you need to do better every time they make these excuses every time they always try to deflect the blame onto me as if i'm the one with, who has the problem for expecting the bare minimum from them and I really have a hard time, again, believing everyone's so busy because oftentimes these servers have tens or hundreds of people. Really telling me not even one of them has the time to acknowledge my existence out of all of those people. I call BS on that. I mean, and it's really just insulting that they expect me to buy that. It's like they're peeing in my face and I can see it's yellow and I can feel how warm it is. And I'm saying that's not rain. And they're like, oh, it's rain. The lack of aware... And it's... <laughs> I, this is how it always happens. Friendships with these people are rarely any better because I'm going to follow the mantra, always excuses never change. What ends up happening is you have to do all the work. You want them to reply to your, to initiate? Nah. You want them to make plans? No. You want them to do something to make you feel like you actually have value to them as a friend and they'd miss you if you were gone or at least notice? Nope. You got to do everything. Every little bit. You have to facilitate the damn relationship. And there was... And when you get burned out and you say, I need you to try here. I need you to do a little bit. I can't do this anymore. I, I'm tired of feeling like you don't care. Which, you know, really, when they don't even reply to me text messages half the time, what else are you supposed to feel? I really love talking about really important things to me or asking questions and no one replies. That's nice. And you call them out and say, I can't do this. This is not sustainable. I am carrying this relationship. You need to do the bare minimum here. And every single time the waterworks come on and they get so defensive. Oh, you're being unreasonable. You're expecting too much. It stresses me out. Yeah, I love how they just conveniently ignore how much it stresses me out, by the way, to just do double duty because they're s such prissy princesses. They don't want to dirty their feet a little bit. <sighs> I mean, realistically, that's what it feels like. You know, they just ignore all the crap I do. I make all these plans. I send all these messages. And I'm not, I, it stresses me out too, but I suck it up and deal with it. I ask you to do just a little bit of what I do. And you act like I'm expecting too much. Go F yourself.
good luck trying to lean on them for support too. Because what ends up happening is that they do the worst thing they could do. They say they're gonna support you, then you try to make it happen and they drag their heels incessantly like a little toddler who doesn't wanna to go to school. But they're full grown adults, so there's no excuse for that. You gave your word, at least try to help your damn friend. And they throw a tantrum. They throw a frigging tantrum about it. I don't wanna do it. And they don't say that, but that's what their actions are. Everything you try, every time you bring it up, they ignore you. Every time you try to make a plan to discuss it in person so they can't weasel their way out, they ghost. And every time you try to send them things, do their part for them, like trying to get an apartment. Hey, why don't we do, why don't you check out these apartments and see what you think? No response. You try to form dating alliances. You try to say, let's go, to, what do you think of these places? No response. I think what it is, is they're scared. Poor little babies are scared. But instead of just being a, a man and saying that, they hide and hope it goes away. And when you confront them and say that's not acceptable behavior for a friendship, you don't do that to your friends. You don't lie to them. You don't string them along. Always excuses never change. They always try to justify it. You're being too hard as if I'm not drowning on the Titanic. I use that exact language to them, by the way, for the apartment thing. They knew how urgent it was and they still treated it like it was a joke. Like it was, we're planning a Europe trip 10 years in the future with levels of urgency. When I say I'm sinking on the Titanic, inexcusable. Always excuses. Nothing ever gets done. And realistically, the way they go about it is just so horrible. Agreeing to it so you are fooled into not asking other people who might actually help and you put a bunch of effort into this and now you just drag your heels, turn you into a caretaker who has to de deal with a toddler throwing a tantrum and eventually you just have to throw your hands up and, and give up. After you've burned yourself out and they've made it clear they have not only are they not going to help you but they have no remorse about it so you can't even get validation about how wrong that was. Absolutely useless people in every way. I really wouldn't do it any differently too if I was a sociopath trying to inflict maximum pain because you can't just say things to someone you don't know. There's no impact. They, no, they get to know you and they make you invested in them and then, they, and then when you're at your lowest and you need their help, they fool you into thinking that they're gonna help you so you don't seek out other people who actually might and then they, they string you along and yet, wait till you're burned out and then yank the rug out from under you. So you're too burned out and too hurt to even try again with someone who might not act like a friggin' sociopath. This is what it is to deal with these people on the autism spectrum. What the heck's with my nose? I'm just making sure there's nothing wrong there. But this is what it's like to deal with my fellow autists. I have never felt heard. I've never felt supported. I've never felt cared about. I've never felt like they were there for me. I honestly don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm making this video for. Maybe part of it's just to vent. I think it's good, though, to draw awareness to this and make people understand that this community is horrible. <laughs> and they have no self-awareness. The amount of cringe, like, literally, they th they're, <laughs> they're the types to... There's one guy I'm pretty sure is on the spectrum. He goes around and he throws out these, like, you know, the K KYS stuff in video games. Uh, mad cause bad, toxic teenager crap, and then he proudly proclaims, I'm 37. Do you, do you not understand how that much of a turnoff it is that you still act like a frigging teenager at that age? No self-awareness at all and no remorse. I'm gonna name shame him T1MMY because this a-hole actually freaking, after it all went down, he actually PM'd me to double down on it. So screw you, you're gonna send PMs, I'm gonna fight back. But yeah, like this community is horrible. They really are horrible. And hopefully some of you take this as a reality check to realize how inappropriate your behavior is. Hopefully people who like me want someone to support them and want a caring community aren't duped into interacting with these people in the future and suffering the same fate that I have. And maybe people who want to recommend this to other people, like parents saying, why don't you find autistic friends? Maybe they'll realize just how bad of advice that is because you're sending them into the lion's den and expecting things to go well. It won't, believe me. Screw the autism community.